Okay, boys and girls, today I'm going to read the story by Ezra Jack Keats called Pet Show. Pet Show. And as I go through this story, I want you to notice how I compare and contrast certain characters in our story. Um, pay close attention. Remember, compare means to look for ways that they are alike and contrast means that I'm going to look for ways that they are different. Here you can see me. I'm, I'm reminding you that today we're going to use your skill of comparing and contrasting. You're going to look for ways that characters, settings, and events are alike and different from another character setting or series of events. When you see me in the story, we will look for comparisons or contrasts. Okay, are we ready? Pet Show by Ezra Jack Keats. Everyone was talking about the pet show. Let's practice comparing and contrasting. Look at the shadows of the children. I can tell that some are wearing hats and some are not. One is wearing a bow. Some have glasses. Can you see right here? Um, they all have heads and they all seem to be about the same age. So I can, I, I am thinking that they're probably all about the age that you are. I think, what do you think? Do you think you are like some of these children? The kids told each other about the pets they would bring. Matt said he would bring ants. I'm going to bring my mouse, bragged Roberto. What are you going to bring, Archie? The cat? Uh-huh, said Archie. The next day, they all got ready for the pet show. Where's the cat? Archie called. Anyone seen the cat? Archie and Willie looked at the cat's favorite hangouts while Peter and Susie searched up and down the street. No cat. Look, they are alike because they're all looking for the cat. See, all of them are looking. They are different because they're looking in different places. See, they're looking in the trash can. They're over here looking in this direction, but they're all looking for the cat. Archie's mother came to the window. Where can that cat be, he asked. You know how independent he is, Archie. You never know when to expect him. But I expect him now. It's time for the pet show. Maybe he's inside somewhere. Archie ran into the building. See the boy below me? He is happy because he is on the way to the pet show. In contrast, Archie is sad because he is not going to the pet show. After a while, he came to the window. I can't find him. I looked all over the place. You better start without me. Gee, we're sorry, Archie, said Peter. So long, said Susie. They got to the entrance. A lot of people were already there. Just then, Roberto's mouse took off. Willie chased the mouse. Roberto chased Willie. Peter chased Roberto. And Susie chased Peter. And the show started. Look, there they are. There's the mouse and Willie. And there's uh, Roberto. And here's... Peter, and there's Susie, all running. Line up with your pets, please, the judges called. They walked up and down looking carefully at every pet and asking, how old is your pet? And what's your pet's name?
everyone got a prize for something. There was the noisiest parrot, the handsomest frog, the friendliest fishes, the yellowest canary, the busiest ants, the brightest goldfish, the longest dog, the fastest mouse, the softest puppy, the slowest turtle, and many more. We can compare and contrast these children. They are all different with different pets, but they are all alike because each of their pets won a prize. As the last prize was being awarded, someone shouted, Look, here comes Archie. Hello, you're just in time, a judge said. What's in the bag? My pet. May I see it, please? As that moment, the cat showed up. The other judge called out, a blue ribbon to the nice lady for the cat with the longest whiskers. Before anyone could say anything, he pinned a blue ribbon on the old woman and came back to Archie. What kind of a pet have you got in the jar? A germ, answered Archie. Mm. And what's your germ's name? Archie thought for a minute. Al, he said. The judges whispered to each other. A blue ribbon for Al, the quietest pet in the show, the judges announced. Look at Archie and the woman. What comparisons can you make? How are they alike? What contrasts can you make? How are they different? See the woman? See Archie? As everyone was leaving, the old woman came over to Archie. He's really your cat, isn't he? She said. You should have the ribbon. It's okay, Archie said. You keep it. And he ran to join his friends. Okay, so while I was reading, were you looking at Archie and the woman? I can tell that they both have blue ribbons. Look. I can tell they're both wearing black shoes. I can tell that they go, both have something on top of their heads. She has a bun that's made of hair. He's got this little pom-pom that's on his hat. That's how they are alike. How are they different? Well, she's a lady and he's a little boy. She's older, he's younger. She doesn't have any pets really. And now he's got two, the cat and a germ. I hope he keeps the germ to himself though. We don't need any more germs, do we? Compare and contrast Archie at the end of the story with the beginning of the story. Is there anything the same about him? Is there anything different about him? Think about that as I finish reading. They passed the old woman on their way home. Thank you for the ribbon, she called. Archie smiled. It looks good on you. See you around. See you around, she said. You know, I think he's dressed just the same way that he was at the beginning of the story. But at the beginning of the story, he was sad. Now he's happy. Don't forget to do your double bubble map. You are to compare and contrast yourself with a family member. You can choose your mom, your dad, a grandparent, an aunt, or an uncle, or maybe even a brother or a sister. Tell us about how you are alike and how you are different.